Hello, this is Ted, uh, icy one to those of you on Night Watchers. And recently I was at Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky. Had a little instance with a Geiger counter, this one right here. It uh, was measuring high rates, very high rates of radiation. All right, anyway, <clears throat> this is mine. It's a Russian-made Kvartz, there's their symbol, DRSB88. That says off, that says on, if you can read Russian. Little speaker, light indicator, little clip down here. There is a Geiger Mueller Q tube encased in there. It's 25 meters, about one inch, small. Still sensitive and fairly accurate. Just can't receive as many particles, this being a smaller tube, as the larger two, three, and four inch tubes can. So, basically, it doesn't pick up a lot under 30 counts per minute, and whatever it does pick up, you multiply by four, it'll be pretty close. It's kind of a personal, just alert thing, Let me know there's something going on. All right? You notice, oh, here, let's turn it on. Should have had it on while I was talking. And pardon me, I'm a little hoarse today. I had to do a training class and talk all day. Can't even stand to listen to myself at the moment. All right, here we go. So, you notice, oh, there was a click. Okay, so... It bounces where it's broken because it's not doing anything, and uh, it's fairly tough. It uh, you know you don't want to throw it, bang it or whatever, and if you get it wet, well you would you know would malfunction. It would stop working until it dried out. All right. Anyway, we're not here to educate on Geiger counters. It does work. It's got a little modification so it can pick up alpha waves. Uh, they don't come standard that way, but there's instructions on how to do it, and I did that, and it works. In this lead case, I have two pellets of americium, americium-241. Each one of those is about it's a little pellet in there encased in a, a metal button. It's wrapped in foil with a little mica screen so it lets the alpha rays out. It's an alpha emitter. Alpha doesn't travel very far. Uh, won't go through your dead skin. If you bust the pellet and inhale it or swallow it, uh, you will have problems with your liver and your bones shortly. You don't want to do that. So these are about 100 microcurie, or excuse me, about one microcurie each, about twice what you would have in a home ionized chamber type smoke detector. So anyway, so this is on. Well, let's see what we get here. Oh, uh, gee. You'll notice it's starting to react a little bit. And as I said, they don't travel very far. I'm going to turn off the overhead light. Just so you see that light blinking. And it's, you know, it's what? I suppose if we were to count that, get a stopwatch, maybe 60 to 100 times per minute. Multiply by 4, be about 400 count per minute. Yeah, it's not much. Won't hurt you. Unless, of course, you uh, inhale or swallow those, right? So, you notice once I move it away, alpha doesn't travel very far. So whatever was hitting me at Waverly was either beta or uh, gamma, not alpha rays. Either that or some, something was very close to me. All right, so anyway, it works. Just trying to prove it works. And just for those of you who might have trouble... Here's a comparison. Here's, that's a $30 meter, by the way. This is a $600 meter. Let me turn the lights back on for you. This is an Inspector Plus made by uh, SE International for first, first response teams, things like that. Low level radiation detector, but it will go pretty high, a couple million counts per minute. Pretty accurate. I'm gonna turn the audio on. It's set to counts per second. Uh, now I, I'm going to close the boot here, and it should drop. It takes a while for the digital to drop down. Basically, in this room, you'll see it's dropping. Uh, I made the mistake of putting it right over there at first. But it, when I picked it up, it was at 28 counts per minute. Okay? You see it's dropping. No we'll wait. It'll get down there. That's about normal for this area. Around 30 counts per minute. And if I move it closer, yeah, we'll set it right on top of that thing. 
you'll notice that it starts uh, complaining a little bit. Uh, you might want to pay attention that there's some radiation nearby. And uh, I'm guessing it's going to go up around yeah, 450, 500 counts per minute because that's what my parts told me. And they're usually pretty close. Uh huh. And it's getting there. All right, anyway. Once again, $600 meter. Not, you know, $10,000 meter like the professionals might have, like a lab meter, but this is a field meter. It's rugged, yet accurate. Take it out, do surveys, first response, see if there's anything to worry about. Detects alpha, beta, gamma, x-rays. Uh, quite accurately. It's got a uh, little round Geiger Mueller tube in it, pancake style. And I'll show you that. Yeah, see, you notice it's around 400 cows per minute, kind of topped out there. And there's the little, inside that screen, little round pancake Geiger Mueller tube. Mm, which is also why it's more expensive. Rugged case, very nice. I'll be bringing it with me from now on so I can be accurate. And once again, $30 meter, okay? You set the camera back down here. So there you go. Oh, by the way, turn this on. Once again. Uh huh. Let me turn this. About the same. And for those of you that were with me at Waverly, you know that this light was on steady. And this thing was going off like a Mike Portnoy drum solo. For those of you who don't know, Mike Portnoy is the drummer for Dream Theater. And if you don't like him, well then Neil Peart or uh, from Rush or whoever you happen to like. Doing a drum solo, this thing was like, you know, up there at uh, at least 2,500 to 3,000 counts per minute. So either there was some severe radiation there that night, beta or gamma, or we had one heck of a paranormal experience. We really don't have an explanation. And as you all know, I did call the EPA, move it away, stops, put it back, goes. And uh, okay, so I'm gonna put the lead back on this here and put it back in my vault where I keep my dangerous experiments because <laughs> that's what I do. And. Uh, yeah. And anyway, I'm going to be bringing all this and all my other fun toys with me from now on. And looking forward, I wish I wouldn't have uh, left because I'd like to experiment with that, but I didn't know I thought we were all in danger. And the EPA went and checked them all out, and they found nothing. They took several people in, spent the whole day, went through it with a fine tooth comb. Tina was very unhappy until they were done, and they got a clean bill of health extremely clean bell of health. They took in thermal detectors that pinpoint radioactive hot spots. And all there is nothing there. So whatever it was, I ain't buying it was a malfunction. This thing was working perfectly before and immediately after. So I had fun. I ain't saying it was paranormal. I'm saying it could have been. Whatever it was, <laughs> freaked me out. <laughs> Thanks.